Hello and welcome to Train Signal. You're watching Monitoring vCloud Director. In this lesson, we'll start off by talking about vCloud Director tasks and events. From there, I'll cover monitoring blocking tasks and what blocking tasks are before we talk about provider and organizational virtual data center usage, and then end the lesson with vCloud Director logs. So with that, let's get started. Just like in the VMware vSphere client, inside vCloud Director, you have tasks and events. So tasks, of course, are things that you requested vCloud Director to do. And then events could be the result of those tasks or just any other system events that have happened inside vCloud Director. So you, as a vCloud Director admin, you need to be monitoring vCloud Director tasks and events just like you do in the vSphere client. Let's go over to the vCloud Director client and check out where you would go and monitor tasks and events. Here on the home screen of vCloud Director to monitor tasks and events, there's a couple different places to look. So first notice down in the bottom left-hand corner here, you've got a couple different statuses, and these are very important for you to check. You want to check and see what's going on, basically, and these are quick ways to do it, especially if you have something that's failed. So if I click on Running here, notice it says that I've got some recent tasks, and then it shows me any tasks that are currently running or if they completed successfully. Of course, that's important to check. You can go up here and filter by what type of task you want to look at. You can also do searches up here in the box to search for a certain type of task. Notice how you can also mouse over the task, and you can go and double-click on it and see more information about that task, more task detail. Notice here it says that the status was successful. Of course, that's always important. I'll say OK here and OK. And now let's go and look at the failed task. Again, you get the same window, but you want to check for any failed tasks that have been happening. This box down here is going to show you the same window either way, but it's going to give you a count of either the running or the failed task. Another place to go and monitor your task and events is in the Manage and Monitor tab here. So as a vCloud Director admin, if you go down here to the Logs section, notice you've got, again, tasks and events. And this is very similar to the vSphere client. You can go to the column headings on each one of these and you can sort these. Notice how I just sorted by status. Here's the uh, failed task on the top. If I resort, I get the successful task on the top. You can resize these columns here. You can sort by owner of the task. You can sort by started at details, which cell that it came from. You can go down here and filter the type of task. You can also go over here and do a search. And then besides task, you also have events. So events are results of tasks, but they also could be system events that have just happened without your control or without your knowledge. Notice how you can also uh, resize the columns, you can sort the columns, you can view only certain types of events, and then you can search as well. So let's say that you're an organizational admin. You can go into your organizations, and there's also tasks and events per organization. So inside my organization here, if I just log in as David, let's say the organization admin, I can go into my cloud, then down to logs here, and I've got my own tasks and events just for this organization. So depending on who you log in as, you may have different views of the tasks and events. All right, so that's how you monitor tasks and events in VMware vCloud Director. Now let's go back, and now let's talk about monitoring blocking tasks. So if you're not familiar with a blocking task, blocking tasks are only used when you have integrated vCloud Director with other management tools in your organization. And that means you would have had to install an AMQP, which is an advanced message queuing protocol broker. So an example of a broker is VMware's RabbitMQ. So you would install Rabbit and then you would use that and integrate vCloud Director with other enterprise management applications like CMDBs at your company. So vCloud Director could then integrate with other CMDBs, enterprise applications, and even like VMware Orchestrator. So let's say when someone requests a vApp, that vApp has to be approved before it can actually be created inside vCloud Director. And these blocking tasks are really the status of the messages that are flowing back and forth between your other enterprise applications and vCloud Director. So something may not be happening in vCloud Director because first, a blocking task has to complete. It has to be approved. Let's say a new vApp has to be improved 
by another management application in your infrastructure. So very quickly, I just wanted to explain what blocking tasks are uh, in case you see them in vCloud Director or you read about them in the documentation and show you where you would go and monitor blocking tasks if your company has a message broker and other enterprise applications integrated with vCloud Director. So here, logged in as a vCloud Director admin on the System and Manage and Monitor tab, you go down to Blocking Tasks. And it's very simple. So here you would see the status of the timeout, what you're waiting for. And uh, you could try to figure out, along with you know whoever's configured these other applications, maybe it's you, maybe it's someone else, to find out what is going on with the blocking task and what vCloud Director is waiting on. So that's what blocking tasks are. Just a quick review, just an FYI if you ever see that. And now let's go back to our slides. And let's talk about provider and organizational virtual data center usage. Just like in vSphere, where you're managing clusters and resource pools, and you really want to monitor the resource utilization and capacity over time of those resource pools and clusters, you want to do the same thing inside vCloud Director. And in fact, once you have vCloud Director, you don't want to stop monitoring those resource pools and clusters inside the vSphere client. You want to keep monitoring those, but now you also want to monitor your provider and organizational virtual data center usage. So let's go over to the vCloud Director client and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So here on the system home screen, if you look down here under tasks, notice how you have manage provider virtual data centers. And then underneath organizations, you have manage organizational virtual data centers. So inside each of these management screens, you'll also find monitoring screens. So we'll go first to manage provider virtual data centers. And then notice here where it says manage versus monitor. If we move from manage to monitor, here we get resource utilization. So notice we've got the Wired Brain Coffee Company Gold Provider Virtual Data Center. Uh, we've got 16% processor utilization, but we have 75% memory utilization. So we're really pushing the maximum amount of memory for this provider virtual data center. Storage looks good, processor looks good. But again, the memory allocation is starting to get a little high. Storage allocation is starting to get a little high. And by the way, you can also double click on any of those and it'll bring you to a lower level where you can also click on monitor and then you can see more specific information here. For example, the production organizational virtual data center looks like the memory utilization there is getting pretty high out of what's been allocated. So you can see there's six gigs allocated and four gigs in use. Same thing for storage up here in the development organizational virtual data center. We've got 100 gigs allocated and 84 gigs used. So we've almost reached the limits on these organizational virtual data centers, storage on one organizational virtual data center, and memory utilization on the other organizational virtual data center. Of course, both these org VDCs are pulling resources from the Wired Brain Coffee Company Gold Provider Virtual Data Center. So there may be more resources in the Provider Virtual Data Center, just not resources allocated to the organizational virtual data center. So keep that in mind. Now from the organizational virtual data center tab here, let's go into the resource pools. And here underneath the resource pools, you can see the amount of memory that's being used by the resource pool is really hitting the maximum for this provider virtual data center. So that's something you really want to be aware of. Now if we go over to the vSphere client, and if we go up to the Wired Brain Coffee Company gold resource pool up here, and if we go over to resource allocation and we look at total capacity here, there is available capacity in CPU, but there's not a lot of available capacity in terms of memory. So what we're seeing over in vCloud Director for the provider virtual data center that's mapped to this cluster, this resource pool here inside the vSphere client is matching up. These two are really the same. We are running low on memory here in the vSphere client for this resource pool. Just as it says we're running low on memory for the provider virtual data center resource pool. So these two things are matching up. That's one way to monitor the resource utilization. Now if we go in as an organizational admin, here on the home screen for the organization, 
if we go underneath administration and then underneath cloud resources and virtual data centers, notice we have the same monitor option here. So I can see here that my two organizational virtual data centers are also pushing their storage and memory limits respectively as an organizational admin. So it's not just the vCloud director system admin that's seeing these org virtual data centers pushing their limits. It's also the organizational admin that can go in and see that these organizational virtual data centers are pushing their resource limits in terms of what's been allocated. So those are the multiple ways that you as a vCloud director system admin as well as an organizational admin would be able to go in and monitor the resources that have been used in the provider virtual data centers as well as the organizational virtual data centers. So now let's talk about vCloud director log files. I think it's important for any admin to be able to go and look at the text-based log files, at least know where they are, and if, uh, let's say, VMware support asks you to send them the log files or to go and look in the log files, you know where they are. When it comes to vCloud Director, if you uh, connect to the console of the vCloud Director virtual machine, the cell that you've installed, or if you SSH to that virtual machine, and then you CD into opt VMware vCloud-Director slash logs, that's where you'll find all the log files. Uh, let's quickly go over and just check them out. I want to make sure that you know where they are and what log files are inside that directory. So here I am on the console of my vCloud Director virtual machine. I'm already logged in as root, and I'm just going to CD into opt slash VMware. I'll do an LS right here. I'll CD into vCloud Director, do an LS, and then there's a bunch of different folders in here, but we want to CD into logs. So here I'll do an ls minus l, and you can see here's all the log files. So we've got a lot of active log files here that are growing in size. We've got the request log, the cell log, diagnostics log, the vCloud container debug log, the vCloud container info log, the VMware VCD log collection agent, and the VMware VCD watchdog log. So we can cat out you know, any of these log files we want, like the cell.log, and there's a lot of information in here. I'm not going to go into what all these different log files do. There's some good VMware knowledge base articles, and you can also find information in the help documents on what they do. But I think, again, that it's very important you know where the log files are, how to go in and find them, how to go in and cut out you know, one of these log files. You could also grep for you know, whatever it is that you're looking for, grep for error or uh, whatever problem you might be having over in the vCloud Director console because it doesn't always give you a lot of information in the vCloud Director web interface when something doesn't go as planned. And it's important, again, to come and know where to find the log files. And that brings us to the end of this lesson on monitoring vCloud Director. We started off by talking about tasks and events, how just like in the vSphere client, you've got tasks and events that you can monitor, both as a vCloud Director system admin and also as an organizational admin. From there, I talked about blocking tasks and what they are and where to go find information about them. And then we covered provider and organizational virtual data center usage. There's a lot of different places to go and look at this. And you, as a vCloud Director system admin, need to be especially aware of provider virtual data center usage. You want to look out and make sure that your resource clusters inside your vSphere client aren't being overutilized, that you're not maxing out your resources on your physical ESXi servers. And then as an organizational admin, you want to look at your organizational virtual data centers and make sure that they're not maxing out the resources that they've been allocated. I showed you multiple ways to go and look for those. And then we ended the lesson by learning about the vCloud Director log files, where they're located, and how to find them. Thanks for watching this lesson on monitoring vCloud Director.